Um, in this presentation, I'm not going to go over the current state of this project. This project has grown in a short period of time so much that I found it important to go back and, and tell the story from the beginning until now. And then when people have a chance to watch this video, then they can have a better understanding of what this project is, what it has done so far. And then they will be able to understand the next phase that the project is in. But before we start, again, I'd like to remind everybody that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an investment advisor. If you need some advice, talk to a professional, okay? And if you choose to invest, only invest with money you can afford to lose because investment involves risk of losing part or all of your invested money. Very, very important. Now let's talk about DT Socialize, the story this far. Welcome to DT Socialize Holding. We want to write a better future with you. Now, it, it is important that we uh, talk about, we cover some preliminaries. I would like to present to you Daniele Marinelli. Daniele Marinelli is the CEO and founder of the DT Socialized Holding and the brain behind the DT Circle projects and technologies. He has inspired most of the technologies and, and, and services that the DT Socialized offers now. He's an auditor who has worked with the National Tax Organization in Italy, as well as the European Union. Now, the, the second preliminary I would like to bring up here, and um, you'll understand why later on, is I would like to tell you a little bit about these two companies, PricewaterhouseCooper and KPMG. Some of you may know them, some of you may not. Now, I cannot blame you if you don't know them, but I'll tell you that PricewaterhouseCooper and KPMG are amongst the top 10, actually the top four accounting or auditing firms in the world by revenue, all right? The number one is Deloitte. The number two is PricewaterhouseCooper. The number three is Ernst & Young. And the number four is KPMG. Why do I present you this particular slide? The reason is simple. Why do we get scammed so much? Why? Simply because any project revolving around the blockchain, revolving around big data, revolving around anything that is unregulated, is full of scammers. And when a scammer comes to you with a beautiful project, you don't have the expertise, you don't have the knowledge to know whether they're telling you the truth or it's a lie. You have no way of knowing. And sometimes the plan and even the idea behind it is so beautiful and so powerful that you have no choice but just to join because you find it, this is just so good, I need to get in. And sometimes it's not even that they want to scam, but it's just that as company, as project, they are not, you know, well put together in order to succeed. Because that sometimes is also the problem. Sometimes, the, you know, these people don't come with the idea to scam, but the project just fails because they don't know how to put together a project. They don't have, they're not being assisted by those people who are good at putting projects together, like auditing company or consulting company, because these companies here are consulting companies, most of them working with very big governments in the world, keep that in mind, working with huge governments in this world. Now, how it all started, we'll go over all these points. The idea was in 2016, Big Data and its Power, the why, um, the privacy of the people on the internet, um, the fact that those who create the big data don't earn anything from it, the how. 
creation creation of not odd of an ecosystem of technologies and companies right that would help generate and manage the, the data uh, creation of a community use of the blockchain technology to certify the data of course you can't achieve all this without challenges right non-regulated industry mistrust of traditional banking system solutions so what were the solutions to those challenges partnership with the wallex in the uk cloud banking solution application to join to the london to join the london stock exchange primary market and metaverse you meta world after that after they came up with a solution what was going to be the next step this the dt circle token that many people have known and i have actually bought some has been put to bed, not in a bad way, in a very good way, meaning that all of us who got some DT Circle token, we now get, we will get rewarded in 30% of all uh, this holdings profit forever until this holding is no longer. 30% of all the profit. And when you see the size and all the companies they own and that you your token will get a share of the profit off, it will give you goosebumps, okay? And then since they put the DT Circle token to bed, they welcome a new token. Now, let's dive in. Discover the power of the big data. Let us watch this video together. So, Listen and watch very closely, please. We live in a fast changing world. Internet, social networks, messaging apps, all tools which we can't do without. Every time you use the internet, information about your tastes and preferences is acquired and you're offered advertisements on the same social networks and on the internet. Companies pay billions of dollars to get your data and today, they're paying them to Facebook, Google, Instagram, WhatsApp. But you're the one who generates that data and buys their products, right? Do you know WhatsApp? Are you using it? I'll tell you another thing that will upset you. You think you can post on social media or send and receive private messages in true confidence. Yet without your knowledge, that data is also being used to acquire information on your tastes, preferences and habits. How would it be if you were able to earn every time you generated the same data that you're generating today for free that makes the companies that use it richer every day? And if there was a way to earn even a small fraction of a euro for every message you send or receive or for all your online activities? If it could be you and only you who decides which of your data you want to sell and make a profit from, having a cast iron guarantee of absolute privacy for the data that you don't want to share. Now imagine being able to multiply your earnings by the millions of people online who want at last to own their own data and make a profit from the sale of it. This is the opportunity that DT Socialize offers you. A company that's been involved in the development of blockchain and big data technologies for two years. A company that respects privacy by creating tools that protect and share the gains with those who knowingly produce data. You can be a part of it immediately and in a simple way, using our services and earning on your data. Or you can be part of the company by earning a fee generated from the data of all connected users in the community. DT Socialize has created an entire ecosystem, the DT Circle, in which every user can benefit from the generation of their data using the services within the circle. A new concept to create economy. A new concept of protection of your privacy. A new concept of profit. That's why DT Socialize is the circle into which every online user will want to enter. It's up to you to decide to make money only from your data or from the data of millions of people who will be part of it. All right, now that you have an idea what big data is and you know that you yourself connected on this presentation right now are generating big data and yet putting all your information out there on the internet that 
you know, the big people, we call them the GAFAM for Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, and Microsoft are using and selling without you getting even a cent from those data that you generated, plus having your privacy exposed on the internet. Now that you know all of this, let us go over, um, you know, all what that means. The GAFAM have taken control of our private lives through seemingly free technologies. They give us WhatsApp, Telegram, and Facebook, and so on. They give us for free, in quote. We're so happy because we can call each other from here to Australia, from uh, uh, New Zealand to Africa, from Europe to I don't know where, for free. Is it actually free? Because if you don't pay for something, then you're not the customer, you are the product they sell. And that's exactly what they do because they generate billions of dollars in profit annually, but they don't share it with us who generate the profit. Can you imagine that just in 2020, Facebook generated $80 billion just selling your data, my data, our data. DD Socialized Holding would like to return the ownership of big data to those who create it and share it and share the profits if the community wishes to sell the data. Because what they actually do, they give you the option to delete everything, all the data created on your device, in your account, so that it never ends up on the internet. They want to give you that option. And if you say, you know what, I think I want to sell them then they let you make money of it. They will be the middleman between you and the people we call data broker because that's where all these people, uh, GAFAM, sell our data. We go there ourselves and we sell ourselves and we make money out of the data that we generated. Now, how would they do that? How would they help us do that? They would do it through the creation of an ecosystem of technologies and companies that are specialized in the acquisition and management of big data. In this case, the ecosystem they came up with is called DT Circle. In that DT Circle, you have a wallet, crypto wallet, you have a phone that they developed, a blockchain phone. I'm waiting for mine to come. It should be here hopefully soon. They have Nova VPN. If you Google Nova VPN, you will see it's an existing company with an existing product, which is a VPN. They own it. DT Socialized own them. They have the DT coin, their own cryptocurrency that is not, you know, um, fluctuating like the rest of the crypto. Uh, they have the U share. They have their bank, DTSCB, which is now called DTS Money. They have this marketplace. They have, uh, okay, this is the DT Circle token. This is the DT coin. They have their own equivalent of, um, of uh, coin market cap, which they call force market cap, because on force market cap, you only have security token versus utility token. The difference between the two is that a security token is a token that does not lose value because the value of a security token is linked to the size and the performance of the company it represents. Whereas a utility token, the value would drop as soon as Elon Musk feels sick, you know, or Trump maybe has a fever, then the value drops again. So that is a difference between the utility token and the security token. The utility token is linked. Its value is linked to something tangible. Whereas a security token, uh, sorry, a utility token value is linked to nothing. Okay, whereas, and, and, and the price is just pure speculation, whereas the security token value is linked to an intrinsic item. So you have here an example of the blockchain phone designed by DT Socialized and manufactured by the company OnePlus, okay? This is actually our own version of the OnePlus North. And while it looks just like a regular Android phone, it's actually more powerful uh, in, in that the components, the parts that are used to put this phone together are not like your regular parts. You know how your phone usually after the warranty is over, it goes, it breaks down. Um, that is usually programmed in the components that are used to build or to manufacture that phone. 
for this particular phone, they uh, ensured us that they pick the component themselves to make sure it doesn't happen that way. Now, you may wonder why would they do that, right? The reason they did that is because the first 10,000 of these phones are gonna be part of their blockchain network. It's gonna be nodes, the first 10,000 ones. And as nodes, they're going to generate revenue for those who own them. And at the same time also, if you own one of these phones and you use the um, apps that are developed by DT Socialize, they expect you to generate around 80 euros every single month. That's how powerful this phone is. You up is their messenger equivalent, their WhatsApp or Telegram equivalent that uh, we will all soon be using. So um, the first release was um, published about a year ago, I would say. We started using it, but it still had some little flaws. They have improved it a lot. Before we used to log in just using, uh, because the beauty of this UOP is that you don't need an email, you don't need a phone number. That's true privacy in order to create an account, okay? Uh, in the next revision, you will only need, you only need um, a, a username that you can create. You can even pick Madonna if you know, that's what you want to do. And that will be your username and that's how people will find you. The, after this release, they said in a few months, we will be able to hold this kind of uh, 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 encounter like uh, Zoom calls. We will hold it on UR. So we're all excited. We're all waiting to get it. Why? Because the more we use it, the more big data we generate. And the more big data we generate, the more money it is in our pocket, right? So creation of a community that uses technology, that's how you get there by building a community, putting together a community that will be using the phone, using the apps, right? And this way, generating big data that will be sold so that we make money. And that, you sh that um, community is put together by Ushare, which is a, uh, an Italian company. Ushare has gotten the exclusive right to develop the community and they chose to do it in a network marketing way. The third way on how they want to achieve that is by creating a community that uses the technologies, right? Like the DT Circle token, which is no longer available to purchase through the company. It will soon be available to purchase again, but on the open market. For those who remember, when we started this project in July of 2021, the DT Circle token was being sold at 8, 8 euros and 50 cents. The current value is 20 cents. When the company goes public on the primary market of the London Stock Exchange, that will be the price at which this token will be exchanged. The DT coin, which is the cryptocurrency, is currently at 36.5 euro the coin. Then you have the force market cap, you have uh, you know the coin here, and you have the U Meta World, which is the latest uh, beauty that they've added. U Meta World is their version of the metaverse, which is a, an exact replica of our world, just in digital. And people can actually go in there and see stuff. And, and of course, when you're in there, you're generating data, you're generating big data. So you can actually go into the U Meta world, which is a metaverse. You visit a store, you use your token or your DT coin to pay, and then the product is sent to you in your real at your real address. That's how powerful they've done it. Now, what kind of challenges did they face? The first challenge they faced when they came up with the idea, when uh, Daniele came up with the idea, was that the blockchain industry used to validate and collect data was still unregulated. Keep in mind, he started this, or thinking about this back in 2016. 2016, you know, the Bitcoin had, was what, maybe uh, seven years old, I would say, and it was still unregulated. Mistrust of the small investors. 
So the small investors like you and I, you know, when somebody came to them with this kind of project, it was like, is it, is it the next scam? Is it the next big scam? You know, and people looked at it always from very far. There was also the mistrust of institutional investors, right? Like the bank, like investment funds, and, and all those people who normally would support projects like this for various reasons, because he was embracing the blockchain. So people were like, ah, I'm not sure if I want to join this thing, right? The blockchain was young and controversial. So Daniele had to find ways to, he had to find ways to address every single challenge and keep his project going. And I can tell you this, those who have been on the project since 2016, some of them have given up because they didn't see, you know, big money getting into their pocket. Some of them put money from that time and they still haven't, you know, they didn't see money coming in. So they were like, oh, but you promised this, you promised that. Some other people actually made money, especially those who were uh, community developers or team builders. They made a lot of money. But of course, not everybody is a team builder, all right? Not everybody is a team builder. So those who are not team builders, they saw the value of their token grow. And for those who step, who stuck around and they know what is going on with, um, you know, the company soon be listed on uh, the London Stock Exchange, they're just laughing. They're smiling because they know they, they made the right move at the right time, right? Some people like to say they're not lucky, but that's not true. Everybody's lucky. What is luck? Luck is the readiness to jump on an opportunity when it shows up. Some people never choose to jump in when the right opportunity shows up. Sometimes I understand that they don't know how to pick which one is the right opportunity, right? But even if that right opportunity would show up in front of you, would you know to tell? Would you know to jump in? I understand there's a lot of scammers out there. That's why my suggestion to you is whenever somebody shows up or whether it's your good friend or your family member or whoever, and show a product or show a project, ask them, is there any of the big four companies, auditing companies or consulting companies, you know, um, working together with this project? If the answer is no, uh, think twice. I don't want to tell you do it or don't do it, that's your call, but think twice. You may still choose to go in, even if the uh, none of those four companies I told you there, uh, Deloitte, KP, KPMG, Ernst & Young, and, uh, and PricewaterhouseCooper, you may still choose to go in. But knowing the risk, you may choose to go at, you know, not heavy, not heavily, right? So when they show you all these projects, ask them, is any of those top 10 consulting or accounting or auditing companies with the project, if they tell you no, think twice. Because DT Socialize is working with not just one, but two of them. Two, KPMG is working with DT Socialize on their project to be publicly listed at the London Stock Exchange. And you share the company that is, that's got the exclusive rights to build the community is audited often by uh, PricewaterhouseCooper. So this is heavy, all right? So what solutions did Daniele and the team came up with? And what did he think of expanding? He started by acquiring the licenses in the first countries to adopt the blockchain technology and crypto. We all have been experiencing you know, the, uh, the platform or the, the crypto exchanges that we deal with being banned in some countries, right? Why? Because they always start business and then when they get banned, that's when they try to, to, to deal or to uh, work with the government or the regulator. DT Socialize chose to do it in the other way. They went to the regulators first and asked the regulator, look, this is our project. What do you need from us in order to let us do business? And then the regulators told them, this is what we need. And then they comply. And guess what? They got the licenses. That's how they work. They cooperate with the regulators in various countries. 
they partner with the Wallace Bank in the UK. If you don't know what the Wallace Bank in the UK is, the Wallace Bank is the bank that won the tendering. They won the bid to turn the euro into a digital currency. That's what the Wallex is. So DT Socialize has the Wallex as partner. They even went all the way to obtain the licenses to create a cloud bank and banking services in the US, in the Connecticut state, in the UK. And let me tell you that UK regulators are the most strict regulators in the world when it comes to finances and health, okay? So they got the licenses from the UK FCA. Um, I don't remember what the meaning of FCA is, but but they got, so they have their bank in the UK. We're not talking about some exotic country, all right? And then the third license for banking service that they got is in the Comoros Islands. So, they went to acquire because as they were doing this, they realized that, oh my God, no, there's no companies that offer services in this field. And yet that is the field of the future because so many people are adopting it. What they did is they started acquiring whole, in whole or part of new companies in order to benefit from their expertise and then be able to offer those services to other companies when they need it. They requested for entry in the to the London Stock Exchange, and that process is being accompanied by KPMG, one of the top four consulting company in the world. In terms of certifications, UShare is audited by Price Waterhouse Cooper, another top four consulting auditing company in the world. The creation of a completely disruptive metaverse that creates an exact but virtual replica or copy of the real world with services that realize in the real world. So now, this is now going to blow your mind. From the technology company that they were aiming at when they started in 2016, they turned in 2020 into a fintech. A fintech is a financial company using technology. And since 2020, when they became like more of a fintech, they have built a portfolio of companies that either belong to them in whole or partially of 16 companies. No, you're not hearing it wrong. 16 companies. They have this one here. Azure Payment System Limited. They own, it's, a, it's a British company, okay? Again, we're not talking about some exotic companies or exotic, exotic lands or countries. It's a British company and DD Socialize own 80% of it. Then you have the DT Circle incorporated again in the UK. They own it 100%. You have DT Finance, which will pretty much be paying the data generator, right? The, the, those who are going to generate the data, they own this one 100%. Cospay, another British one, they own this one 35% of it, right? Then you have 100%, they own DT Circle Holding, and I believe this year is, um, I don't know if it is Lithuania or Malta, I think this is Malta. Then they, they own this asset management company, Dovre, Dovre for Valdi. And go ahead, you can go ahead and look up all these companies online. This is a Lithuanian company um, which works with the Lithuan Lithuanian uh, Central Bank, okay? DT Socialized owned them 100%. Another UK company, which is the, uh, the, the, the bank. I told you about the DTS Circle Bank, which is now known as, um, uh, no, this is the bank. This is the custodian bank. Then you have DTS Money. Guess what? Canadian. 100% own. Would you believe that? Again, not an exotic country. Then here you have Europe markets, which is uh, a marketplace where people will have stores and sell and, and do things that will then be shipped in the real world. You have Synapsia. You don't know what Synapsia is. Synapsia is an AI intelligent, like artificial intelligence that is geared towards languages. You up that you see here will soon be able 
to translate in 100 languages simultaneously, meaning that I'm here speaking in English, but you hear it in the language of your choice, whether it's in Swahili, whether it's in, uh, you know, Lingala, whether it's in uh, Spanish, whatever your country is, if it is part of the hundred languages that they are being that are being developed with Synapsia, you'll be able to listen to me in the language that that you pick on Synapsia. That is what this company is about. Now, as you can imagine, all of these all of these companies will be offering their services to other companies as well. So they will all be profitable companies, or they have the potential to be very profitable companies, and the profit. 30% of the profit will go, will, will, will be divided or distributed to all DT Circle token holders. Isn't this amazing? And then I'm not done. You still have Tidal, which is a U.S. company. U.S. company, United States of America. You have Nova VPN, which is also a U.S. company that belongs 100% to DT Socialized. You have DT Socialized Malta again. You have Mio Payment System, another Canadian one, owned at 55%. You have ABC and you have UR. Wow, I need some water. All these companies belong, most of them, as you can see, to DT Socialize. And the holding itself is based in the UK. To me, and I said it at the beginning and I'll say it again, this project is the most undervalued, underrated project on all of the blockchain, the most underrated. And I know that they're gonna go and do big things, huge things. Owning a token of this company is very similar to having had a chance to own a token of a company like Tesla or Facebook or Microsoft or Google before they became what we know of them. But because people don't see that yet, too bad we cannot see in the future. People don't see that yet. But those who do, those who see the power of this, will be able to get their part of this project and then earn the rewards very soon. Because had it not been for the pandemic, I think DT Socialized would have already been on the London primary market, London Stock Exchange primary market. And it's just a matter of time. You'll hear it coming very soon. Now, DT Socialized holding licensing. They hold licenses in Malta, Lithuania. They have already, they are already working to get the French license because uh, France has come up with some regulations and DTS, DT Socialized holding is working to get it. Italy is also working on their own regulation and DT Socialized, they want to work with the regulators. They want to work with the regulators. They hold licenses related to crypto in Malta and Estonia. They're working towards complying with the French and Italian licenses when they're available. And then they make sure they always work with the regulators. It's really bad when you get banned and then you get back into business because people then look at, uh, am I sure I want to join this company? But when you show up as a company that is already accepted by the regulator, then everybody feels like people feel more relaxed, more in peace doing business with you, right? So London Stock Exchange, as I said, it's coming. The process is being, you know, looked after by KPMG. This is a letter strictly confidential. That's why Daniele Marinelli didn't want to show the rest of the letter. But the letter was sent to him back in, what was, August 2021. Okay, he shared this with us, August 2021. And this is about direct listing of DT Socialized Holding on the primary market of uh, the London Stock Exchange, London Stock Exchange. So let me show you a few pictures of Daniele. All these happened this year. This is Daniele in Miami at the Crypto World Conference in Miami. This is Daniele with the president of Costa Rica. This is Daniele with 
the president of the International Monetary Fund, Kristalina something. I don't know. I don't. I, I forgot her, her last name. And where did they meet? They met here. They met here at the World Economic Forum. If you know what the World Economic Forum, if you don't know the, the name this way, then you probably heard about the Davos Forum in Switzerland, where all the big names of the, the world economy meet up. We're talking about the Elon Musk of this world, the uh, Bill Gates, all those big names. And amongst those big names, you also had DT Socialize. So to me, once again, this is the most underrated project on the whole blockchain and big data industry. I'll say this, and I wanted to really go over uh, this presentation as a recap for those who don't know what DT Socialize is about before we actually get in the phase that they're in right now. Because once I've done with this video, I'll post it for those for people to actually get to watch it and to understand what the project is about. And then once they've done that, they can then look at the video started starting now and up. What you're looking at here are two licenses, one from the European Union, all right, for banking, uh, the banking, offering the banking services to the DTS Circle Bank, right? And then the one from the Comoros Islands. So what is the next step? Okay, I didn't translate this part. Um, so what is the next step for DT Socialize? Now that I told you all this story, what they've achieved so far, the next step was to close down the page of DT Circle Token. They, has, they have given plenty of time to everybody who wanted to own a DT Circle Token to buy and get the DT Circle Token. I think at the end it was selling for like 15 euros, the token. We were lucky to get it at 8.5. Right now the value is 20 euros per token. It is no longer for sale. Um, so it started at one euro, no longer for sale. The next time it will sell will only be later on the open market. And the open market will open when the, the, uh, the DT Socialize goes public on the London Stock Exchange. The next step, the next phase is the U-Take token. The U-Take token is a token geared towards the metaverse, okay? The U-Meta world. In order for anything, any store, anything to happen in that metaverse, the store owners, the people buying stuff in there will have to own you take token. So that is how the you take token is actually going to work and be exchanged. Right now for people in the DT socialized community, they have the possibility to acquire the you take token for 0 0.25 euro, like 25 cents of a euro. But the market launch of the U-Take token has already been set on July 31st of next year, meaning 12 months from now, just short 12 months from now, it's going to go live at one euro on this day. What does that mean? That means anybody who buys it here at this price, 12 months from now, it will be four times. It will be four times uh, worth four times whatever they put in. Let's take an example. Let's say I take a thousand euros and I buy these uh, tokens, right? If I buy these tokens, I'll get for thousand euros, I'll get 4,000 tokens. Mm -hmm. After July 31st, the thousand euros that I spent to get 4,000 tokens will turn into 4,000 euros, four times, right? So that is the next phase. Starting next week, I will be doing or making video, recording videos on that next phase, on the U-Take token, on the, the next phase of the project and how to acquire the U-Take token for those who wants to acquire the U-Take token. All right.